All right. So continuing from where we stopped the last time, and I said we are going to be attempting to do layer stacking. This is a process where you combine individual bands to become one band where you can now make your selections as you wish. So for the data that we need, for example, we stopped uh, using this, uh, uh, this particular data, this data, this field data. So we we'll need like band one, band two, band three, band four, band five. Those are the multi-spectral bands and band seven. So we just drag them in here to load them. So uh, now that they have been loaded, so what we're going to do is to go to this uh, a particular place, raster, and um, uh, go to raster, go to miscellaneous, build virtual raster. In this place, if you click here to select the input layers, we have this band one, band two, band three, band four, and band seven. So we can actually click here to select all, or you can click individually to select them. So click on OK and see we have six input bands selected. This is the resolution. I want the highest resolution. As put as you put highest resolution, it's going to increase the size of the imagery, but that's not the problem. Place each input file in separate band. That is what we want. Allow projection difference. Since it is just one particular scene, there will be no need to check this particular place. So every other thing seems normal. And um, here we have to save to a temporary file. Let's leave it this way because we are going to export it to something that we really want. So let's click on run. So it has finished running and it's created this virtual raster here. So once you go to properties here, uh, let's create the true color composite. Let's assign this three, two, one, band two and band one. And this is the true color composite. Uh, let's just do stretch to min max as the enhancement and we click on apply. So this actually is the true color composite that we have uh, uh, that we have done. So and the other one is uh, if we uh, don't uh, want that, we can always go to uh, properties and let's try for three two. Okay, or let's this three two one. Let us see if we don't have any enhancement to it. Let's apply and see. Uh, this is without enhancement with the four three two, and um, that is how it's done. But then. Uh, let's go and do 432 here. Let's go to this place properties and now do multi band. We are now doing 432 as um, another composite. This is the infrared or first color infrared uh, for 32, as it were. Uh, let's give it stretch to min max and apply. Or if we don't want that, no enhancement, you apply. So this is. Uh, the first color uh, composite uh, for that particular band. So uh, for this particular um, uh, scene, so that uh, does it. So if you want to save this permanently, you click on this place and click on export. It will now save us. In this place, we are trying to save as a GeoTIFF and uh, we'll look for the file name and save to a particular place where we want it and we want it here, uh, Landsat, and we want it to be here. So we say this is the layer stack or any name that you think that will be okay for you. But in this case, I would rather choose this as the band name. Let's just choose this. Instead of choosing all this, we now correct this so that we have the file name and say this is the layer stack for this particular uh, scene. And that uh, gives it a, a name that is uh, intuitive. So it is in this, all this uh, we can leave as uh, defaults and click on OK. So it's going to save this and bring it to uh, the main map. So it's running here and once it finishes running, we'll have it. So let us um, see if we can remove all this and uh, just display that one. So it has finished running and here we have our layer stack and uh, we can still go to properties and we are displaying multi-band color 
and let's do five four uh five four two uh okay let's just still do band four band three band two okay let's do seven four two that's the geological band or seven four one let's do seven four two remember as it is this band six is present band seven and uh, band four seven four two uh, that's the geologic band seven four two and uh, we want to stretch to min max and apply so this is the geologic band and that's how uh, this thing is so you can now try and see whatever works for you but this is how we do this uh, layer stack and i hope this video has been helpful to you in seeing how to create a a, a layer stack uh, using qgis